Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be for Sag Energy. Sag, how are you guys doing? We're going to tap into your reading. This is going to be the six card pull for love. So if this resonates, Sag, go ahead and thumbs up the video here on the YT. All the information for personals will be in the description box. If you guys are looking for first day uh, readings, um, that price is also in the bio um you have it this debt today or it depends if you do it like 8 p.m or something like that then it will be the next day um but yeah that is also available if you want to donate to the channel the super thanks is on that end um below the video or you can send it to me directly to all my payment method in the description box and if you want to support the channel even more you guys are new here go ahead and always like your video share comment down below youtube would see it and push the videos through to a bigger audience so the video can grow so the channel can grow and cross watchers are welcome here okay the energy is fluid so go ahead and flip the roles if necessary as well all right these are all generals not personal so please take what resonates and throw out the rest for someone else all right let's see sag what's going on for sag okay in love Angel Guides Ancestors. What's going on for Sag in love? Let's see. Sag energy when it comes to love. Sag energy when it comes to love. What is the energy for Sag? Ooh, Three of Wands is coming out already. Someone is looking out of their relationship um or their situation so let's see if that's going to come back up again let's see sag energy you have some major arcanas here sag energy angel guides ancestors thank you for being here for sag all right so what do we have here we have the high priestess we have the high front okay High front and high priestess. So you have Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Rising, or Venus placement, or you have Taurus. Taurus is this um, bull energy, this stubborn energy. Sag is this sensitive energy. So there's a lot of feelings here and there's a lot of pride here, okay? All right. Um, there's a lot of codependency here. It's like you feel on a spiritual level that your person is actually listening to other people advice about you or what other people have to say and not really necessarily listening to you or believe in what you have to say. And I feel like this person might be an older person, someone that is very um, religious, like they go to church every day. I don't know. I'm just picking up someone that is needs a lot of work with forgiveness, okay? Even though they go to a church every day, it's like it's like a cover up, you know? It's like this person is, is very angry. I'm also seeing the nine of pentacles here. So I'm just getting that you put a lot of work into this and you lost yourself by being in this situation i'm also seeing a move that you just don't want to happen or there is an ending within this relationship or there's a transformation that is occurring and you fear to let this occur um you're going back and forth with that in your mind um this could be a young energy the page of pentacles as well someone that is definitely not making any moves on giving something back to you or receiving the lessons the way they should in life i'm also seeing the seven of wands here so the seven of wands is some kind of control that this person wanted and i feel like this was just too much for them they thought they were going to do very well with this but i'm seeing like they gave up very easily okay so and i feel like there's a lot of other people that are coming into this remember in the high front um i did see that codependency like this person is given bad advice or bad news or just news that is just not true you know and instead of doing their resources and trying to find out for themselves about certain things they really depend on what other people say so i'm seeing a decision that is made that was the wrong decision okay 
and this could have came from a pastor this could have came from you know someone that's in that that religious factor i'm seeing tradition or traditional factors you're ready for your cup to overflow sag you want the truth this is what i'm seeing here look at that on the back of the deck the justice in libra and then you also have someone coming back to you within the chariot hmm, i'm seeing that this might be a rainy day that when they return i feel like within the chariot it's like when the chariot comes down it's like this thunder and lighten um, it reminds me of the divine God. This is how he enters into this physical plane that he's created. And, um, you know, he brings a lot of thunder and lightning with him because his power is so crazy, you know, that, I mean, it could destroy your eyes, basically, your human form of eyes. Um... So I'm just seeing a rainy day here that this person is going to return. And I'm hearing that you need to find yourself again. I mean, you are already receiving a lot of spiritual abundance and messages from your guides. And you're showing up very strong. This person is showing up very codependent. But there is something going on within your your identity, your power, your money as well. Tell me about this Nine of Pentacles. Wow, the lovers within Gemini. Ooh, someone is dealing with a Gemini. You also have Angel uh, Raphael showing up here, trying to bring you guys back together. There is a lesson here. This was love at first sight. This was a lot of temptation as well. So this is what I'm getting, like... You know what I'm also getting? Someone is really revealing to me that when you guys got together, it seems like this person was in another situation and at the time, and it's just like they couldn't help it or you were in another situation. Okay. Tell me about the Hyperont. The Three of Cups. This is family and friends that are leading them this way, by the way. Giving them advices. Um, and I feel like they want... I'm just getting like... Oh, wow. Two of cups on the back of the deck. Someone is showing up. Someone from the past. Um, <laughs> this person could be married. Mm-mm-mm. This person could be married and it seems like they're still married and this is why i picked up within the lovers that this was a temptation yeah i feel like this person has a home it's not perfect with this two of cups here they have a lot to talk about a lot to solve but It seems like they're still with them and they're still with you. This is crazy. There's too many people within this connection. Tell me about the Three of Cups. Wow, the Knight of Cups. They're telling them to end a relationship and move on to with another this is crazy because they could be telling them to end a relationship with the two of cups from the past and move on with the new relationship here. Hold on. Oh. Or vice versa because this is the knight of cups. It's like knight of cups represents a second chance. I mean, it could be either or. Tell me about this lovers. The Ten of Wands. There's just a lot of burden. There's a lot of history. A lot of, you know, like holding up this baggage. It's like they're going to bring baggage within this relationship from their past. Alright, so tell me about the Six of Swords. 
the Ten of Pentacles. You don't want to leave because you have put in so much work within this relationship as well. Tell me about this Ten of Pentacles. The Wheel of Fortune. This is good. This is the number 10. You have two tens here. 10 and 10. Ten of Pentacles. The Wheel of Fortune. All right. So I'm getting like um, a lesson. I'm getting lessons. I'm getting a contract. I'm getting that this is destined. This is meant to happen. For those of you who that word bother you, it is what it is. It's the Wheel of Fortune. This is fate card. This is destiny. This is a lesson card. This is karma card. This is good news in the upright. This is bad news in the reverse. Okay. I mean, <laughs> um, and I feel like you're on the right path with this person. And this is why your intuition is telling you that you don't need to go anywhere. You know, there is something here that you're learning with this energy. I'm seeing three tens here. Ten of wands, ten within this wheel of fortune, and ten within the ten of pentacles. So for those of you who be seeing ten, 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 or a lot of just one, zero, one, zero. That is your clarification confirmation tell me more about this page of a pentacles uh so this person the reason why they have not gotten the lesson or having or can't provide for you in some form of way is because this person was busy out there hurting you so i'm getting a third party you guys i'm getting a three of swords and it's showing up as in the present moment so a lot of you are definitely going through this at this moment you're still going through this hurt this hurt is fresh this is what i'm getting here tell me about the seven of wands the seven of wands energy holy spirit the seven of wands energy what is this seven of wands you have the queen of pentacles they try to control you but they can't the queen of pentacles you're definitely making decisions on your own you're taking care of your people, your family, your children. Some of you might even have children within the Ten of Pentacles here. Um, there's a contract. This is what I'm seeing. There's no apology in the future. There is also a stuck energy within Scorpio. Um, the angels are watching this within the judgment, within Aries and Libra. There's a judgment call. There's a decision that is also made here. I'm seeing you taking a step back to find yourself on a spiritual level. This is not something that you were forced into. This is something that you were going to do anyways to take a step back from this relationship and just try to figure out what you want and make sure that you are doing everything that you need to do. There is something that's going on within the home. I'm seeing this person is trying to leave something behind. It's like they're... I'm seeing two people here, two different relationships. You have the two of cups in the upright. It seems like this person is still with two people, but they're trying to leave someone behind here. Okay, let me see this two of cups energy, please. What's this two of cups? Is this person trying to stay or to leave this one right here? Mm, there's, this was a mistake, the two of cups. There's just so many things that's done. What? Okay, let's see. There was a mistake that happened. Oh, okay. Tell me about this lovers. Is this person trying to leave the lovers? Because they're saying that they cheated on the two of cups. The lovers was a seven of cups, but they decided what? I feel like this person is confused. A spiritual hmm they don't okay so what i'm seeing with the lovers here for those of you sag that has a lot of gemini or um yeah gemini in your chart when it comes to the lovers okay because or you're dealing with a gemini this person is saying that there was a lot of multiple partnerships that they had and they made a decision to be with one person, but they fear that the truth is going to end the relationship with the lovers. I, they feel like the lovers won't stay to entertain the situation, okay? And then with the Two of Cups energy, for those of you who met this person very young or you were in, um, you met in uh, through family, what is it? Um, 
it's, it's, this is giving me like a soulmate kind of vibe or something like that but or you're married to this person they're saying that or you have a lot of cancer in your chart okay or water placements for those of you Saj okay they're saying that there was a mistake of keeping secrets away from the two of cups they want to come in and balance out this situation and give back they want forgiveness they want to prove themselves to you they want to close these chapters and they want to move on they want to move on in positivity they want to you know have a clean slate now i don't know how this is going to even happen because this person seemed to be with someone else um this person seemed to fall in love with two people that i'm seeing the magician here as well so this is gemini virgo scorpios energy it's like a work in progress i'm seeing prayer i'm seeing manifestation what's the advice here for saj Oof, this was messy saj all right, you have the tower. Ooh, wow. All right, I feel like the, oh, the Holy Spirit is saying, beware of a transition that is going on, even though you just, you're trying to avoid this transition so bad, because I'm seeing that you have the seven of pentacles where you're constantly trying to prepare, prepare, or invest in certain parts of the relationship to make it better or to make it stay together. Um, but this relationship is being attacked on the outside and on the inside. So you and this person doesn't have a strong foundation together alone. And then this opened the door to a lot of people coming in with the seven of wands to attack your relationship. So it's not as firm or steady. And then you have the five of swords energy. The Holy Spirit is saying, be aware because this person is wearing different masks for different situations. So you are dealing with someone that... Um, you know, is a different person for this person, a different person for that person, a different person for that person. You are not dealing with someone that is organic, everyday, true to themselves. This person has many different faces. This person could be identified with different names as well from certain people. So, and this person is in it to win it. So they're not giving me an energy as like they're going to wave the white flag and give you what you want they're not in a place where they can afford to be embarrassed this is what i'm seeing here so if they have to make you feel stupid they will okay within this read so this is what i have be prepared you guys the ace of swords is also here with the five of swords this is my confirmation if there's going if there if you can trust this person and right now you can't i mean they're going through a spiritual breakthrough yes you have the ace of swords this is going to shift things but this person still has this five of swords energy in the upright so it's like they're still in that energy of like i'm going to do what i have to do to make someone cry to make someone feel bad and i am very cold this is aquarius energy right here you know very cold all about me 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 not we 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 kind of vibe so i hope it resonates all the information is going to be in the description box for you Saj. and go ahead and donate to the channel if you enjoy this message and it resonates for you um you can also send it to me directly like i said before everything is in the description box the super thanks button is right over here and yeah comment like share youtube see everything to push your videos through to a bigger audience so the video can grow so the channel can grow and if you guys want a personal just check in the description box i have first day i have classes also available all my classes are held on saturdays because i do work so i just want you guys to know that and i will see you guys in your next one bye guys